Now, for chewing destruction preventative, it's just as important as teaching a dog the things they're allowed to chew and the things that they aren't. Setting up your home is the next thing, just like if you were preparing for a toddler to be in a room. If I'm busy today and I can't watch my dog, it's really important to know that they're gonna get into things. So to be upset about that would be I have to blame myself. The other thing is if I happen to walk in and find something destroyed, I can't correct after the fact. All they'll understand is something chewed up, a human being and the dog, bad things happen. What you do need to teach is don't chew that, chew this. And when I can't observe you, then you want to put them somewhere, just like a crib in a sense for a child or a playpen, that they can stay busy in. This is called our tethering. You can tether anywhere in a house and you can actually put an eye bolt or a Z bolt at the very base of a baseboard so it doesn't put a hole in the wall such as like here at our training center. But I put a bed there, I give them something to chew on. If I don't want to set it up like this and I want to use a crate, that is fine. But again, remember that at first they will cry, they will yell, just like kind of our kids do when we put them in little play pens in the beginning. They want to be with us. So remember that when you do leave them alone and they need to stay busy, you give them something to chew on, they will cry. But if you come back and pet them and calm that, that, that behavior down, you're going to be rewarding it. So it's, it's hard love. You stay in your environment. You make sure they're safe. I would never leave the home with my dog tethered, but I would be busy, such as in the kitchen, the family room, the bedroom. These are all great spots that you can create such a thing. Give them something busy to do. And when you're ready to go back to training them, then you can take them out from this environment. But it's really important to let them know they have something such as a stuffed Kong to keep themselves really busy. And exercise is another part to this. If I'm not exercising enough, this is going to be a really hard place. This is also a great thing to do when I have guests come to visit and I, I know I'm going to be busy entertaining, but I'd like to have my dog stay involved. And this builds up confidence because it's not normal for a dog to be alone. They're a pack animal. They would never be alone. So you actually have to help condition them to learn how to handle being somewhere such as this and keeping themselves really busy all on their own. That's great.